Hello! Today we are playing Swang Tang produced by Superhero Me. Swang Tang is a collaborative game suitable for anyone aged 10 and above and can be played between 4 to 6 players. Let's start setting up the game. Start by assembling the tanks and fish store in the middle of the play area. Remember to have one tank less than the number of players. So, three tanks for a four player game, four tanks for a five player game, and five tanks for a six player game. Place a filter token and a scum counter in each tank. Shuffle the remaining supply and fish tokens and place them in the respective boxes in the store. Shuffle the event cards and place them facing down. Shuffle the 6 fish enthusiast cards and deal one to each player randomly. Collect the corresponding coloured pawn and place it on the first tang ball at the top row to start the game. Each enthusiast card represents a unique ability that they can use during their turn. Read them aloud so that all players can work together as a team. Let's go through the enthusiast cards and their unique abilities. E-Shopper You can purchase one fish or one supply token from any tank you are in. You need not be at the store for this action. Technician Clear two scum levels instead of one when you choose to clear scum level for one action. Wholesaler Place up to two fish or supply tokens as one action. Whisperer You can keep fish alive even if the tank has no filter when you remain in that tank. Hoarder You may hold up to five fish or supply tokens at any one time. Driver Travel freely between tanks and store for one action. You need not follow the game direction of clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now we can start to play. Remember that a tank must always have a filter or the fish in that tank must be discarded. For each turn, the player may take up to three of the following actions. Move a step to the next tank or store. You can only move in the direction of gameplay, clockwise or anti-clockwise. If you have the driver card, you can move in any direction. Buy one fish or supply token from the store if you are in the store. You can only buy the token at the top of either pile. If you have the e-shopper card, you can buy tokens from anywhere. Clear one scum level or two if you have the technician card. Place one fish or supply token in the tank you are in. Each token counts as one action. If you have the wholesaler card, you may place up to two fish or supply tokens as one action. Pass one fish or supply token to any other player. One token counts as one action. You may choose to do the same action up to three times, such as buy three tokens at the store or place three tokens in the tank. Each token you place or purchase is counted as one action. At the end of your turn, draw an event card. After everyone has their turn, which is one round, increase the scum level in all the tanks. If there is no fish, increase by one scum level. Add one additional scum level per fish. For example, if there are three fish in the tank, increase scum level by four. Now, let's look at the event cards. Fish Medicine Save a tank of dying fish. You can hold on to this card and play it at any time, even if it's not your turn. Playing this card does not add to your actions. However, you must discard the card once it has been played. Activated Charcoal Clear Scum Level to 0. You can hold on to this card and play it at any time, even if it's not your turn. However, you must discard the card once it has been played. Gift from Brenburn or Alfred Receive one fish and one supply token. However, you can only hold up to three tokens at any time. Discard excess tokens if any. If you are the hoarder, you may hold up to five tokens. 
faulty filter. Replace the filter immediately. Otherwise, discard all fish in the tank you are in. Algae attack. Increase scum level in tank you are in by two or three levels depending on the cart's instructions. Too clean. Heal fish with medicine cart. Any player who has the fish medicine cart can play it. Otherwise, discard all fish in the tank you are in. Whirlpool. Change direction of gameplay. If you are playing in a clockwise manner, now you play in an anti-clockwise manner until it comes back to your turn. After that, you may discard this card. When event cards, fish or supply tokens run out, shuffle the discard pile and reuse them. All players win when every tank is complete with a filter, fish food, air stone and three different fish species. The board wins and all players lose when the scum in any tank reaches level 10. Work together as a team to maintain the fish tanks with colourful fish before they fill up with scum. And that's Swang Tang. We hope you enjoy the game. Tag us on Instagram at SuperheroMeSG.